In this video, we'll look at some techniques in Excel that help you communicate what you've done to other people. I'm going to start here by putting in a recursive equation for the Fibonacci numbers, something I discuss in another video. Actually, this video isn't really talking about the math too much. Now, suppose a student has done this, and he or she wants to turn in a paper to me to show, to show how they did it. And, well, of course, they could turn in the whole file, but maybe if it's printed out on a piece of paper, it's hard for me to tell whether they actually entered the equations or whether we just have a list of numbers here that one could have typed in one at a time. So there's a way to show the equations. And this way, I'm going to say this is at least the way it works on my keyboard in Windows and a lot of other keyboards I've seen. I doubt it works this way universally. So it's control and this little backwards quote character, which is kind of hard to even type. On my computer, I'm using the draw menu here to show you where it is. It's right there. And I'm just going to make that fatter. Okay, it's right there. And this little clip art I got, it actually doesn't show that little twiddle, but it's right next to the one on my keyboard. And so when you do that control little quote thing, it's a toggle. And I toggle this way, and it shows the equations. Toggle back, and it takes the equations away. So I was just hitting that control quote thing. Now, sometimes on a worksheet, I want to make a worksheet. And I find that it's really a lot easier to show students what to do, just to get them going in Excel, if I can show visuals. Um, and I can't always show a video. So here's what I do. I hit the print screen button, which on my computer is way in the top right above the numbers. And I just hit that button. And you can't really see anything happen there. And then I go into paint program. And I just paste. And here I have my entire screen, not just not just the one I'm making the video. You can see I'm using Cam Studio to make the video. And so here we are. And then often what I'll want to do is just paste a little part of this. So click over here. And just copy. Sorry, I meant copy, not paste. I'm doing Control C here. And let's mize that. Mizing my Excel. And I'll paste it into a word button here. Not meaning this to be a commercial for Microsoft. This is just what I have. But then we can paste. And then I have that little screenshot. And sometimes um, I'll also want to draw arrows on it to say something like, oh, if you want to select everything, uh, click here. Something like that. So those are some techniques that I just find helpful for using Excel in a math class. And um, I had to ask people about them. Actually, I thank my mom for these. She knows a lot about Excel, and she told me how to do some of this stuff.